Hey guys, welcome to Effie Channel, where all of us celebrating our technology and creativity. As you can see for the previous couple of videos, we are exploring a lot of face tracking, body tracking, and a lot of people love uh, the apps where we find out. We spent quite some time to figure out and explore all these apps to be able to help you guys find out what's the best option for you to be able to represent yourself in the virtual world. And of course, I find my favorite with wide IO VC face because I, first of all, I'm using VRM file. And then I think is the feature of my avatar that I'm creating is fit this, fit this app. By, by some reason, I feel I like uh, my avatar have more like subtle movement, the emotions not too extradating. So with this episode, I, we will talk about the avatar face tracking pioneer app, Animes. I'm sure many of you have heard about this app and you've been maybe used it a long time ago. And it's used to, used to call Face Rig. And then back in 2014, they started Indiegogo to um, get support for the face rig, like face tracking software. A month ago, I think, we're, we saw they're developing this app and updating to allow people to import a VRM file. We purchased it, but then we realized, oh, it's actually not happening yet. A couple of days ago, they just announced so now you can import your own VRM file, plus you can do the perfect sync. So I what I couldn't, we were just like, okay, we have to try it and see the difference, which one maybe perhaps I will like this better. Right now at this moment, I'm still using VC face with Y Dio. And now I'm let me show you when I'm using the animes, how it looked like. Okay, now I'm using animes and iPhone tracking to show you guys how it works. Seems like, as you can see, first of all, I have to say I really like the function of the background. As you can see here, you can change different background. Um, like this. Looks pretty professional. <laughs> And then I like the one with the chair, like like almost like in a, in a car. I just find like when I have like little facial expression, when I do like a slightly bigger smile, it become like pretty big smile. <laughs> and then basically it's tracking pretty well with every subtle detailed expression, it can capture like very small movement and the facial expression, eyeball is moving pretty well. But um, <laughs> like when I just open my mouth, my eye disappeared. I don't know why. Later on, I let my partner do track his mouth. He can open his mouth big, and then you will see it's really funny. <laughs> I don't have a big, big mouth to track, but I'm pretty sure my partner doesn't have like the biggest mouth. <laughs> but uh, the avatar kind of like losing it. <laughs> hmm. I think it's just not optimized well on VRM file with your avatar. Maybe that's one of the reasons. So if you use their original avatar, you will see you can do all kinds of things like blow cheeks and uh, stick tongue out those not really working at this point with a perfect sync. I don't know why. Like, it's not really working at this point. Um, but they don't, They also have these emojis. Like, ooh, sexy, sleepy. That's new. 
you will see the different when I'm using this too, but I like it. So if you have a VRM avatar, I still think the VC face, VC face in 310 works better because it's specifically for VRM file. And this animes is when you are already using the animes and yeah, when you are familiar with, if you are familiar with animes UI and then you like, you also like this uh, face tracking, try both and see how you feel. Or it depends on your avatar file too. I love trying avatar facial expression. I still think it's like, yeah, it's pretty different than the other one. Not bad. But when I do this, like, can't really, not too much emotions going on. Uh, <clears throat> let's try their original avatar. Let's try with a fish. Let's try the fish. Ah, uh, see, this one can can do more expressions, right? Like, hmm. I don't know why the perfect thing doesn't work well. Maybe there it's like still some bugs going on. If you guys like tried and it worked, let me know because I thought my avatar will work well, like as this one. Like you can tell, like. This one's very accurate with the, their existing avatar. <laughs> the eyebrow is cute. <laughs> Why have the emo, evil smile? <laughs> this is evil. <laughs> and then they also have 2D avatars. Which one's 2D? Okay, let's try a 2D avatar, how it works. Wait for <laughs> Hey. <laughs> mm -hmm. Doesn't really track much. Just like mouth mouth moving and blink. That's all. But it's cute. And I can make it big. <laughs> Okay, cool. <laughs> but like, I, I guess you can like, it's for some simple emotion. With a 2D is pretty cute. Happy. <laughs> but what, what do I use it for? I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, it's, it's fun. <laughs> so let's try without iPhone tracking. Now I'm just using the webcam on animes on my on my laptop with a webcam. So on animes you can just choose the using webcam. So this is not using iPhone with perfect sync. Yes, you can tell some kind of difference. Um, it's less even even more sensitive like. I'm like, well, I close when I open. Hard to control. Very. I feel like my emotions, my face is like out of control, even though I didn't even do much with my face. Like easily to feel like I'm terrified. <laughs> or, <laughs> yeah, it's not natural enough. That's all. Like you can see the difference when I'm using uh, VC face and then these animes. I guess it's really the difference between a VRM file because it's not specifically used for the VR VRM, but it is still working really well um, in terms of tracking. I still like the other one better. With the, with the existing avatar, you can also add uh, animation. You can really add animation on your avatar unless you 
create animation. Okay, as you can see, now you see I come back with the VC phase. So in the, when I'm using animates, the setup is exactly the same with what I'm using right now, but you can tell it's such a big difference. To be honest, I just feel like when I'm using VC face and Y dial, I feel like it, this is me. Like I can see myself talking to you. I can be more expressive as myself. I didn't feel that with animes. Doesn't mean it's not tracking well. It just, I, I don't think it's the right one for me. Perhaps because of the, the face like features and then the expressions. So if you have a VR info, I think one of the reasons is because VCFace or 310 or this software is specifically uh, optimized for VR and file. And the animes is for like a 3D model, like avatar file. And then I find is, okay, when I'm using the, their existing featured avatar, I feel like I mean, I'm one of those like 3D movie, 3D animation movies. Like the expression, everything is very similar with when you watch a 3D animation movie. So I guess it's, it totally depends on what kind of avatar you're importing and using in that with the software. With my avatar, I don't think it worked better than VC Face, but maybe with yours it worked better. So try with your avatar, maybe the, the way your avatar looks works better with uh, animes. Plus I like their features about the emotions and also you can probably create some kind of animations to use there. Mm. And if you don't have time for to make your own avatar, you can also use their existing avatar. They have so many options you can choose and you can also purchase their other avatars to, to work with. Um, and the, the background is very cool as well. So yeah, that's our experiment. Uh, I just really need to show what kind of, because there are so many new apps, new tracking um, software existing and come up all the time. And I really want to know what's new and what's the difference. Maybe, maybe your avatar doesn't work well with VC face. Probably you can try with animes. So yeah, um, let us know what you think. And let's see, maybe give me an example of the avatar you're using that looks better with animes. I'd like to see that. And also we tried with perfect, perfect sync because we use the iPhone. It's supposed to work, but seems like with my avatar, it didn't work. We tried everything, but it's still, it's very hard to, to capture the blowing cheeks, those kind of function. So I don't know if you figured out how to, please let me know. And yeah, this is like a total experiment for us. And we spent maybe like $5. That's all. It's not expensive. So you can try and figure out if you are interested. And then in terms of how to set up when and import your VRM file, we will make like a short clip in one of our videos coming up. I will put the link underneath the video. So. I don't think it's super complicated. And then they have official also have videos to show how you to import your VR. Um, their interface is quite easy to understand. And you can also just explore different functions. It's pretty straightforward. Okay, have fun guys. This is, that's it. That's it for today's video. I like to keep you updated with all the new cool, fun apps and virtual experience in the old learning process we got. In the future, we subscribe our channel for a new update every week. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!